Hello everybody, this is Shadil Qassas, the Director of Innovation at Al Ittihad National Private School Al Ain. And today we are going to explain how to make your data analysis out of the exported Excel sheets of the marks uh, from Scology. So once you have your Excel sheet exported from Scology, it will appear like that. So this is first names, last names, and you will have the midterm. And then you have the three pillars of your assessment, knowledge, skills, and reasoning. In our previous videos, we explained how to um, create uh, an aligned assessment or an, uh, a standardized assessment using Scology alignment tool. In this video, the main objective is to help you to create your data analysis out of the exported Excel sheet. So let's say that I want to compare the data between four of my classes and they are 5AG, 5BG, 5AB, and 5BB. How to do that? In order to do that, first of all, I need the averages of each pillar. So I need the average of the midterm for this class. I need the average of the knowledge pillar. I need the average of skills. I need the average of reasoning. In order to do that, I need to go to the last uh, cell in here so this is an empty cell and I need this cell to calculate the average of the four um, segments in here so in order to do that I need to uh, highlight an empty cell in here and then I need to go to the functions this part I need to select the average function once you select the average function you will find a highlighted active column in order to uh, to to get, to get or to calculate the average of every um, uh, mark in here I need to expand this active uh, cell a little bit so it includes all the marks of the midterm so this is the average of the midterm by clicking in here you will find that it calculated your average I need to do the same for uh, the knowledge, skills, and reasoning. But instead of having the function to be written in here individually, I can simply expand, and this is a wonderful option in Excel, that it, it can expand the format. So uh, I need this kind of, um, uh, this cross, and I need to uh, expand this cross in here. So by expanding the cross, you will find out that the um, uh, the function is active but you need to make some adjustments in here as you can see it's um, uh, written as 0 0.88 which is 88 percent so you need to change this so you need to highlight it and right click go to the format formatting of the cells and you need to change this into a percentage so once you click percentage those numbers will be converted into 88.58%. I don't need any decimal places, so I will minimize this into zero. So I just need the roundup number, which is the 89%. So now you calculated the average of each segment, the midterm segment, the skills segment, and reasoning segment. This, this is the average of all of these segments. You're going to do the same action for each uh, class. So in here, I have done the same. I have cal calculated the averages of the pillars. The same in here, I have done the same. I have calculated the averages and I have done the same in here. So the next easy step is you need to copy these uh, averages into a separate sheet or you can even do them in here. So let's say that I will copy this in here I will paste it so you will paste special and you need the values only so I need to values and numbers so I need to uh, cup uh, to paste the values and number formatting so I will paste in here and this is actually this is 5 BB let's say that I need 5 a B in here and I need 5 BG in here and I need 5AG in here. So I will go to 5AB and I will copy my values. I'll go there. The same thing, paste the special. 
I need the values and number formatting. The same thing for 5BG. I will copy them and then go in here. Paste special number and formatting. The same thing for AG. And I will take it like that and I will paste it in here. So as you can see, now we have a table that shows you the uh, averages of the midterm and the skills, uh, the, the knowledge, skills, and reason. So this is actually the table that we want to analyze. In order to work on this table um, and in order to export um, or I mean to insert uh, uh, a bar graph, we cannot use this shape. Actually, we need to copy it and then we need to paste this using the special pasting option and I will go down in here which is paste special and I will use this option which is the transpose the transpose is going to flip the whole uh, uh, the whole table for you so it will be easy for you to make your analysis once you prepare your table you need to compare between your classes in the midterm factor so this is the midterm highlight the midterm with the class titles in here and then you can simply uh, click insert so you will find the midterm comparison between your classes so this will show you that 5bb for example is the 90 percent in the midterm while 5ab is 88.2 5ABG is 86.1. This is the average attainment of the classes. So you can actually uh, interpret or reflect on the uh, attainment uh, of your classes. And this is the midterm. So this shows you the accomplishment of your uh, classes. So let's say that this is not enough for me to reflect only on the mark because we have here some objectives. Uh, some objectives related to knowledge, skills, and reasoning. So I want a clear uh, uh, data analysis related to this. So I will highlight the knowledge, skills, and reasoning. And again, also, I will highlight the titles in here of the classes. And then simply I will insert the bar graph. And as you can see, it shows you the comparison between knowledge, skills, and reasoning between the three classes. Of course, I can change from here the details I can see. So this is the perfect one. So the knowledge it appears, if I wanted to compare the knowledge, so you'll find out that this is an 89%. Um, uh, while this is 90% in 5AB, in 5BG it is 92% um, and 92% in 5AG. So as you can see, now you have very clear um, idea about the uh, uh, objectives uh, of uh, your classes and also you have a very general idea about the attainment of uh, your classes as a, a midterm in total. So this is how we can interpret data. Of course, this is uh, one step of uh, the data analysis because we need to reflect on that. We need to describe that. We need to write a narrative or a paragraph about the midterm. So let's say that I'm going to describe the midterm mark as a whole mark. So I, I will say that this midterm shows that uh, the best class uh, or the best the best attainment is um, attained in 5BB while the second place was 88% uh, or 88.6% in 5AG and so on for 5AB and 5BG. And then I need also to compare between knowledge, skills and reasoning between the classes, which one got the best 
in knowledge which one got the best in attain in uh, skills and which one got the best in reasoning and also i need to reflect on the lowest marks or the least uh, percentages so i need to write that i need to highlight that i need to be aware of the um, comparative data between my classes so that it can give me some idea about their um, attainment which will reflect or which will have a strong reflection on our um, uh, reteaching or scaffolding efforts for the future. This was our main objective for today. Thank you. Please, if you have any uh, question or comment, please post it as a comment to this video. Thank you very much.